So now what I want you to do, I want you to make a fabric that we're gonna practice our stitches on. So basically this fabric needs to be 26 centimeters long and 17 centimeters wide. Okay. And now we're going to do some lines across it. So if you have a ruler, I think we showed you before, we can just do some lines, some simple lines that we're going to use for our guides. And go the other side of the ruler because it's easy for me to do that. Okay, then leave the space and do another one underneath. Okay, so we're gonna to start to do a hand sewing. First, we're gonna do the needle, thread the needle. So just trim off a little bit of the end of your thread. Make it a nice, neat end. Unravel some of your thread. Take your needle. Sometimes the white background is easier. Go quite towards the end because you're only going to push it through. So there we go. It's not always easy, but one needs to persevere. Okay, so let out some of the thread. Cut that away there. Okay. And now we're going to do a knot at the end. So take your thread together. So it's more or less the same length at the end now. And then we're gonna do a knot. Hold them together and just turn it around and pull it through the end. Okay, one more time. See the knots there? Go around, underneath, and put it through there. And do one more, around, underneath. Everyone finds your own way, but that's more or less how it's gonna be. I'm just gonna trim off the end of there, so it doesn't get messy. Okay. And now we're ready to sew. Okay, so the running stitch, we're gonna work along this line here. So we've got our thread, already been knotted at the end. I'm gonna come through from here. Now this is the easiest stitch you could do all the way through to the end to the other side you feel the knot there and then all we're going to do now is go down and out the back and that's your first stitch now we're going to make a space in between because they're going to come up again so we're going to try and use the same space in between so we're going to go up keep on your line and come up Feel it pulling, it's good. Then go down again. Try and get the same size stitch. 
Okay, and the same again, up from the bottom. And go back down again on the line. Okay, and up again from the bottom. And back down again. That's all you do. What you can do is you can try and do more than one at once. So find the, the uh, area there with the needle. And then what we can do is you can actually go back down again and then come up again. We're done two in a row. Okay, so back down, back and up, back and up and pull it through. Once again. Up. There we go. And that is your running stitch. Okay, so now we're going to do the back stitch along this line here. Now the back stitch, the secret is in the word back. So rather than starting here at the beginning, we're going to start one stitch down. So here we go. So from the back, you come up until you feel your knot at the back. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go back now. So we're going to go back as if we're going to the beginning again. And then you have your first stitch. Now we're going to go forward. So we're going to miss a space and we're going to go forward. Try and get the same length as this one. We're going to go forward. Feel it pulling. And we're going to go back, back to the same hole the other one started. You see? Okay. And now again, come forward. One stitch. And then go back. Okay, you see? It's forming one line. So again, come forward, come out, and then go back to the beginning again. Yeah. Same again, go one forward. Try and be the same distance every time with the stitch length. And then go back. This is very good. This is almost like weaving the fabric together. Okay. Where are you gonna go now? You're gonna go forward. And then you're gonna go back. Now forward. and back. And that is your back stitch. So we finish off a little bit for you. So forward and back. Put it through from behind, put it through. Okay, and that will be your back stitch. We are going to do what they call the blanket stitch. So I've threaded my needle already. I've got a nice double knot at the end. And so now we're going to do is fold over. Your fabric. Like so. Not to be perfect. Okay, so with the blanket stitch. 
working with the blanket stitch. We're going to be sewing on the outside here. So it's two layers. So we're going to start by going inside here until the knot gets in there. And now we're gonna come from behind here and come through the same hole as here. You see, we come through the same hole. What's happening is we're making a loop. There's a loop coming here, you see? So now we're gonna go through that loop and pull. Keep it straight. Okay, that's where we're gonna start. And now we're gonna come back again on the other side, the same level. We're gonna come through again. And you see now there's a loop for me. See, there's a loop there. I'm gonna go through that loop and slowly come up. You see? It slowly comes up onto the top. So now we'll go again, underneath there, up on the other side, come through. And there's a loop forming again. So we're gonna go into the loop. And what we have here, we have some of the thread from before. Cut this thread here. Okay, you'll see it's starting to make form. through the loop. Again. Remember, you're just practicing. It doesn't have to be perfect. See the loop there now? See the loop? Going through that loop. I see. And I'll do it again from the back. Same distance. Come through. Okay, if it doesn't get caught on your fabric. I'm gonna go through the loop. I left it a bit late that time. Through the loop, you see? Go through again. See the loop getting smaller, smaller, smaller. And then through that loop. Don't pull too tightly for now. And as you go along, you see you'll get better. Just keep doing the same distance between each one if you can. See my loop come into my loop. And again. See? It's starting to look nice. It's a very uh, thin thread. Normally you use an embroidery thread for this, but that's what we do. Put your loop there. Loop coming there. Go back into my loop. Into my loop and just bring it through. See, another thread sits on top. From the back. Get my loop and fold a little bit to the left. In again. There's my loop. There's my loop. And there again. 
when you pull don't pull too tightly it's more of a decorative stitch we're going to be using when we make our pin cushion which we're going to be making next again so to pull but not too tight and that's what you're just going to do from the back leave the space come up don't put all the way through find your loop from the right come in and that's it find your loop again find your loop once again find through them back find your loop and then here we're going to come just through the back and we're going to finish it off hidden under there cut away your thread And there you have your blanket stitch. Okay, the cross stitch. Now this is a little bit complicated. So what we're gonna use again is we need your tape measure again. Take out your tape measure. And now what we need to do is we want to put measurements so we know where we're going to sew. So put it along the line, your tape measure. Nice and straight. Okay. So now what we're going to do is at every centimeter, which is a centimeter, we're gonna put a dot of a line. So we're gonna go there, there, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty. So the cross stitch, cross stitch. So come in from the top one, your hole there, your, your mark, and we're gonna come through. Till it stops at the end with the knot. And now we're going to go across. So we're gonna go down into this one here. And then we're gonna come straight away through this one here. So you will see, do it slowly, put it through slowly. It's so one another cross. So we're gonna go up there now and bring it through the end to make our cross. So we have our first cross. So now this is where the tricky bit starts. So now we're gonna come in from the bottom of this one. So find we need where the hole is here. I'm gonna come in through here. And then we do the same, but upside down. So we're gonna go in this one and out through this one. Like the first time you see. And then we're gonna go back down here because that makes it into a cross, doesn't it? It's a cross. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna come in now from the top. And then we're gonna come back into this one and out again like the first time. I have a lot of thread here because I doubled up my thread so you could see better. Okay, so now where we're gonna go, we're gonna go up there to make the cross. 
nice and tight see and now we're going to start again from the bottom of the other one go across and in okay now where we're going to go we're going to go down there aren't we to make it into a cross okay you see how it's going these really help you putting these measurements in so now we're going to go again from the top because last time was from the bottom so we start again at the top try and get the same position as the last one and we're going to come down again here through the bottom of that one and you've got your x again there the first part of the x go across there to make it into an x into a cross sorry And that's what we do, just go up and down, then up and down, then up and down, then up and down and across. So now we start from the bottom this time. Again, across, in that one, out that one. And then where are we going to go now? We're going to go here, aren't we, to make a cross. And we make a cross. Now sometimes it can be confusing because you don't know where to start from the top or the bottom. Well, there is a bit of a secret here. Because what you're actually creating is this shape on the other side. So now I can see I need to start from the top, you see, to make that line go there in case I forgot. So now I'll go up, turn it over the right way and I'll start again from the top. Top. Again, down this one and out this one. And now across to here. And that's basically it. So last time we started from the top, so this time we need to start from the bottom. This is a very nice decorative stitch. Okay, and now we're going to start from the top. From the top, come down. Go through there, and then back through there. 